Hey guys, Gamer Heretic here, coming to you from Star Wars Old Republic, and I am on my operative today. I will be going over healing on an operative and giving you a basic rundown on how to do it and not suck at it. You have stat priorities as far as mastery, endurance, power, they kind of all couple together in all of your gear, so don't really have to worry about that because every piece of gear you have has mastery, has endurance, has power. Well, except the relics, but they, you know what, never mind. You have critical, you have alacrity. Two very important stats. Crit measures how hard you critically heal and how big that hard critical heal is. Alacrity allows you to heal faster, regen your abilities faster, and your ticks that are over time or what we call hots to heal faster. So, that being said, let's go over my stats. I have a 41.9% crit rate with a 70% multiplier. So that means I have a 41.9% chance every time I throw out a heal to get a critical hit. That means that if my average heal, whatever that number is, it's going to be increased by 70%. Well, 70.52% is going to be a bigger heal. Now, the alacrity numbers they want you to have is around a... The old school used to be 8%, but since they did the stat reallocation and changed all that bullshit, basically it now means that alacrity has to be higher. So between a 11 and 15% alacrity is where you want to be. I have a 14.84. Not bad, but not where I should be. However, I'm, I don't, I'm an effective healer. People live. That's all that matters. Um, the biggest thing is going to be your abilities. You have your big heal. Save it for when someone's about to die. Uh, I usually save it for when someone's dropped below 75% health. That's when you want to fire... Goddamn bar. That's when you want to try to fire it off to prevent people from dying. Uh, then you have your little heal over time, your culto probes. Keep probes. Just probe everybody. Probe everyone. Like, this, this person. Probe that person. Yeah, you're getting probed. Take it. Alright. Anyway, I got sidetracked. The other thing is your surgical probe. Boom, quick heal. Boom, quick heal. It's really nice to have, which goes off your tactical advantage. Tactical advantage is a neat little thing that gives you, basically, it's a buff that allows you to execute some of your abilities. That's the best way I can describe it. And then you have your culto infusion. It's a nice little la 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 heal, and it kind of adds to your heal over time. And then, of course, when you do use Cult of Infusion, you have a chance to make Surgical Probe critically heal. Oh, 11,000 crit heal. So pretty. You also have Cult of Waves, a huge wave of healy goodness. And then you have your little Recuperative Nanotech, which is basically a cloud of feely goodness. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at that cloud of feely goodness. Oh, it feels so good. So good. Oh, hey, look, I got her on my cloud, too. Uh, diagnostic scan is huge because it allows you to recuperate energy much faster. Um, it's great. I love it. If I'm ever in a pinch where I'm low on energy, just pick a target who's dying or not at full health. You can cast it on yourself if need be, but cast on someone who needs it. And then obviously your toxic scan. Purge you. Cool. Uh, I have specced into the combat proficiencies. Uh, I'll just go over those really quick. I'll hover over them, but, you know, damage reduction, damage reduction, and when your shield probe uh, breaks, it heals you for 5% of your health, which is nice, a little free heal. Um, your culto probe increases your damage reduction by 6%, so it's 3 per stack, so now you have 6% damage reduction on top of the 5% damage reduction. You have... Uh, this right here is cool for PvP because it coincides with uh, blow for blow. So it reduces the activation town on evasion every time you get hit, which you know increases your chance to dodge melee and range attack by 200% for 3 seconds. Coupled with this, when you activate evasion, you are getting a reflect, returning 150% of the direct single target tech and force damage taken back to the attacker while evasion is active. Great in PvP when you want to get that son of a bitch that's beating you up off your back. Or to at least kind of make them back off because they're hurting themselves. Um, this one here, it just reduces the cooldown for certain abilities, mainly Shield Probe uh, and Escape. Uh, shield Probe obviously reduces damage and absorbs damage, and Escape is your, uh, basically pull, pur pur purges all incapacitating and movement impairing effects. Sorry, I'm human, I stutter. Uh, Curative Agent, I took this simply because I'm a healer and because it's fucking awesome. 
Countermeasures grant curative agent, causing your next culto probe on a new target to immediately grant two stacks. So that means that if I cast countermeasures, I can automatically put two stacks of culto probes on someone who I am not currently probing. Sounds so wrong. And the other cool thing about it is it basically makes uh, your culto infusion a instant heal. Instead of a heal over time, it now instantly heals them for a very large number. So that's pretty nifty. Um, that is pretty much it. That is my operative video. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like my videos, uh, you know, obviously like it, comment, and subscribe, all that goodness. Uh, and I will be back in my next video to show you guys all about sorcerer healing.